Hi, I just wanted to have a few words with you about this supposed new wonder drug for women, the pink Viagra. There's all these high hopes that it'll get all of these terribly frigid women who've lost their libidos, just like, you know, all horny gagging for it and, you know, wanting to bonk in bed. Well, look, I'm all for encouraging women to bonk in bed. I think it's a fabulous thing. It's what my work is all about. But will this drug actually do it? Let's clarify a few things here. For a start, it's been called Viagra, the pink Viagra. And the pharmaceutical company that's been touting it and actually went three times to get it approved has been using, I must admit, I'm a little bit cynical about their marketing campaign, saying that it's all about gender equality and if we have Viagra for men, there should be Viagra for women. Well, let's clarify a few things because Viagra for men is actually for the penis, which is something that women don't have, all right? Viagra actually deals with a very simple, straightforward biochemical process that actually locks the blood in the penis. So it's just focused on something that's happening down here and you take the drug just before you want to have sex. Now, this new drug is completely different, okay? What this drug does is it alters brain chemicals. You've got to take it every single day, not just when you want to have sex, okay? It was actually de developed as an antidepressant. So what you're doing is you're playing with your brain chemicals, right? And it doesn't actually deal with arousal, which is what the male Viagra does. It just helps a man keep an erection. It, that's about arousal, not desire. Doesn't affect men who have low desire. And I can tell you, there are masses of them out there. Of all the couples who come to see me, at least half, it's the man who's got the lower desire. And Viagra won't do anything for male desire, right? Now, this drug, the new one, one that affects the brain chemicals, that's not about arousal, that's about desire too. It's supposed to help women want to have sex because apparently there's this real big problem out there that women aren't wanting to have sex, you know, despite the best efforts of their husbands to roll over and squeeze their nipples and say, how about it, love? You know what? The women aren't wanting to have sex. Isn't that a strange thing? Well, tell you what, I often get women coming to see me and they're terribly upset because they say, I've lost my libido. I put it down somewhere. God knows where it is, as though it's something that you can have or lose. And they think they're frigid or they don't like sex. So the first thing I always say to them is, well, tell me about your sex life. And so they do. And my response inevitably is, no, 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 you're not frigid, you're actually bored, right? Your response is normal. You're not enjoying sex and you're not wanting sex because it's boring. Let's use a food analogy. Imagine if all you ever had to eat was bread and dripping would you think it's strange that you didn't have a high appetite? No, because the food was boring. Or let's use a musical analogy. Let's imagine all you got to listen to was music. You know that stuff that you listen to in elevators? Yeah. And then you thought you didn't like music? Funny that, it's crap. So if a woman's sex life is crap, she's not going to want it. Now, no little pill is going to fix that. I mean, wouldn't it be great if there were pills for boredom? There are pills for boredom, but they're actually illegal, right? And in fact, this, the clinical studies of this new pink Viagra for women was amazingly effective because on the volunteer studies, it actually increased the amount of sexual encounters from two per month to three per month. Wow, gosh, isn't that an exciting statistic? Now, I get much better results than that, and do you know why? <laughs> because I actually educate people on how to have good sex. And I educate people on how women's sexuality works and how men's sexuality works and how that magical coming together of the male and the female so that you can just create magic. And when you're having magical sex, yes, there is desire. And this requires you to understand a few basic things, like in a long-term relationship with the same person, you're not going to be gagging for it all the time. You actually can start making love before you're aroused. You can actually use the lovemaking to get you aroused. The desire can come with the process. So you don't just want to wait and go, oh no, I don't want to have sex because I'm not in the mood. No, you start making love to create the mood. And as I just said, that's just as common for the men as it is for the women in my clinical experience. Okay, so if you really want to enhance a woman's desire, rather than just 
popping a pill every single day and wondering what that might be doing to your brain chemicals, why don't you actually learn how to make love? And why don't you learn how to understand about female sexuality and male sexuality and your own individual sexuality? What works for you? What doesn't? Understand things like you can start making love to get in the mood. You don't have to be gagging for it before you get started. About understanding how important it is to do interesting things and to you know, vary things up a little bit. That's what gets the dopamine flowing, just like that drug does. Okay, now these are the sorts of things that I can help you with. If you subscribe to this to, to the, my YouTube channel, there's heaps of sex tips and videos and information videos and all sorts of stuff on my website. Masses of material. You see, we just don't understand in this society how sex works, and so we try and fix things with a pill rather than actually understanding how beautiful it is. It's like food, it's like music. Once you understand how to cook, once you understand how to make music, then you do beautiful things. And I actually believe that making love is like that. It's not a quick fix thing. Yeah? Take the time to understand and enjoy and make beautiful love, and hey, let's make the world happy. You can all go out, enjoy, play.